The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. To the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. By the way, I give you that address, folks, because that's the Wells Fargo office that that uh, movie was filmed in. And if you're really nice and you're ever in Philadelphia and go up to the manager there, ask him if he can take you upstairs to see where Eddie Murphy was hiding the drugs from uh, Dan Aykroyd. I mean, it was really cool. That desk that was there, by the way, was bought by my very dear friend Jay Cross uh, right after the filming of the movie. Uh, you know, they had stuff available and he found it. It's, a, it's called a partner's desk, you know, double desk on each side. But uh, he paid two grand for it. And uh, after he passed away, they sold the desk uh, for considerably more than that. But anyway, uh, let's move on to these markets. Looking at the FTSE, you see we're having a beautiful ABCD pattern forming. Looks very, very interesting. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the DAX. Uh, we're having tremendous volatility here today. I want to talk a little bit about that here. Our guest today at the break here uh, is uh, Shane Smolian, our wolftrader.com. But here we go with the German DAX. We'll get this up here. And as you can see, uh, we have a 135 pattern forming here uh, in the German DAX. If it can get up that high, it might only make the 382. I don't know. But that is very symmetrical. You see, we make a double bottom down here, slightly lower low. Now we're bouncing a little bit. But uh, the negativity is everywhere except in the stock market of the United States of America. And I want to talk a little bit about this. Because one of the things that I did when I first started doing this stuff, uh, I got so excited. And I'm, let, let me give you a little brief here. For, for, from, 19, from 1975 through 1985, 80, no, 1980s, for 10 year period, all I did was AB equals CD and Fibonacci. That's all I did. In 86, I got interested in uh, astrology through Dr. Ruth Miller because it was really good. Frank Tauscher was in, into it really heavily, and so I did a lot of stuff with that. And then in 1988, I met uh, Bryce Gilmore. Uh, we were in a, a big, it was money, sh not money show, but it was the CompuTrack show in Chicago, 1988. One of my students from Germany was there, Marcus Nix, and he came up. You have to go into this room and listen to this man speak. He said, he teaches what you, what you teach, he said, but it, it's really amazing. So I walked into the room. There were about 100 people there, and Bryce was talking, and he saw me. I'd never met the man before. And he said, well, look who's here. It's Mr. Fibonacci, Larry Pesavento. Come up here and sit in the front row. You might learn something. And everybody cracked up. So I said, okay, I'll go along with this. I went up and sat in the first row. And 10 minutes into it, I had goosebumps. I mean, I literally had goosebumps. He was in, uh, showing his wave trader program and how the ratios of 1.27 and 786 and 1.618, 1 how that stuff all fit together. And I said, oh, my God. I said, where have I been? I said, I, I just didn't understand it. Anyway, I, I after all, I, I, you know, we shook hands and stuff. And I said, hey, why don't you come out to Pismo Beach and spend a you know, week or two with me? And, uh, you know, we can go over some of your stuff, your free vacation. Uh, you know, I'll pay for your flight and you can stay at the trading house, you know, and 20 minutes there. You got your own room. You got your own floor, actually. And so he came out and he stayed two months. And from then on, he came every year for anywhere from two to four months uh, out there to, you know, work with me and trading and stuff. But what he showed me was how the relationship between 1.27 and 1.618 and 7.86, how that stuff fits together. And he did it, of course, only daily. You know, they, this was back in 88. There was not a lot of, well, there were some day traders around, but, you know, not very much. But I like the day trading so I can, got my, I can keep my, what do you call it, uh, ducks in order, to say, the, to say the least here. So now let's move over here to last night. I wanted to show you, let's get this together. We talked a lot yesterday about 382 retracement. So let me, hopefully I'll get this up here a second. Hold on just a minute here. 
Okay, I gotta share the screen. Okay, now this is just a short term. I think it's an eight minute or a four minute because I can see the swings. You can see the 382 retracements there in the E mini uh, Dow Jones. Uh, and hold on, I, I could I could have done either one, but I did the work on the Dow Jones, uh, it, the, the 618 on the same thing, made any difference. But here's the one where we were coming in this morning, and I wanted to get this up to you here. And I uh, hope I have enough time to get all this stuff in here today. And you'll see here that uh, we went almost exactly to the 382 down here. We missed this by about 50 Dow points. And now we've gone all the way up to the 78% level. The, new, the S&P 500 has made a new high. And this is going to be interesting today for two reasons. One, we got Shane on the line for one thing. And the second thing is I'm going to show you for the first and last time. <laughs> this is actually going to be the last time. This is what uh, we were looking for by using the uh, AI uh, program. Uh, you'll see here that we should be topping somewhere very, very close here in this uh, E-mini uh, S&P uh, this morning, somewhere between uh, 11 and 11.30 is what I'm looking at here as a potential for a move uh, to the downside. So there's two things that I think, because I've got a short part here today because of the fact that we've got Shane coming on and he's always got some wonderful stuff. But the two things that are most important are the fact that what happened in the euro is just absolutely amazing here. Let me get this up here to see where we are. Just a second, Mr. Euro, where are you? Oh, dear. Oh, I think this is it. Yep, this is where we want to be. Hold on one second. In fact, <clears throat> let's get this up here. Hold on. All right. Got to do a lot of technical stuff here. Hold on. Okay, now when you look at this euro chart, I talked to you about yesterday the importance of the fact that this number that we hit yesterday was an exact 382 and 50% off of every swing you see on this chart going back several months, okay? Now, what happened last night was the market in the middle of the night popped up to this level here one tick higher. Uh, that was real early in the morning, and then it started, to, you know, it's backed off, you know, quite a bit. So if we close above that level right here, uh, th that's going to be quite bullish. Uh, so keep a very close eye on that. It's backing off just like it should be doing, but necessarily it doesn't need, mean – we don't know where these markets are going. But and I, when I get back, I want to talk to you about the news and how, they, how the news has played into some of this stuff because first it's Netflix and then it's uh, what you call it, uh, Twitter or whatever. What I watch – is watch. I want to see what happened. Here's here's my my view of the S and P last night when we first got uh, looking at this. This was in the well, midnight or something like that, I believe. Hold on a second. I'll get this up here. Where is it? Oh dear. Seem to hit the wrong buttons a lot. Hold on. And this is a. You'll see here that we had this uh, really big move, continuing to go higher, and it went a great deal higher. That's why when I showed you the chart of the Dow Jones that you can see that we were looking at something that was, uh, you know, really, uh, you know, really quite interesting. So we'll see if that's going to mean anything or not. But uh, we'll see what happens. we got a break here, 877-927-6648. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call Newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 All right, folks, we're going to take a look here at Netflix because it's in the news, and I just want to show you some of the patterns that uh, we talk about here. Um, e <laughs> I, I don't. I really when I what I'm what I'm going to say next, people probably won't believe. But I really don't watch the news or anything. I mean, when something happens, somebody's got to tell me, or I've got to look for it because uh, I don't. I really don't care. I mean, could these I've seen this too much. So let's look at Netflix here. You go back to November. You see where it's making that beautiful three drive to a top pattern, and also a huge ABCD up there at seven hundred dollars a share. At that time, if you remember, we were having a skylight, uh, uh, a new type of a skylight, uh, brought into the house up on the roof, and we had a little bit of construction going on. And the gentleman that did it, his little construction crew, was named. Uh, his name was Marty. He was long Netflix, and he saw me sitting at the machine, and uh, he looked at it and said, "What is it? You know, I don't do charts." He said, "I just buy when I feel like I want to buy and sell when I feel like I want to sell." He said, "That's good," and I said, "You know, where are you long Netflix from?" He said, "About a hundred dollars, six hundred dollars a share." He was up a hundred dollars. He was looking at that pattern. And uh, remember, this he didn't see the right side of this. All he saw was his top that was forming here at 700. And I said, I wouldn't buy this stock if they let me trade for free. And he, he said, well, you're pretty adamant about that. I asked, I said, well, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. I said, well, at the worst case, you know, put your stop at break even so you don't lose anything. And he said, that, that stock is never going to see $600. And I said, well, <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, let me... Let's go to today. Okay, let's go forward today. The first thing I want to show you is right happened right bit on the news. You like 382 and you want to wonder whether it means anything or not. Look at this, folks. If you'd have bought a put, if you'd have bought a put, look at this. Look, if you'd have bought a put back here, well, the kind of money you would have made right at the 382 retracement. Boy, oh boy. Very, 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 very nice. Okay, now the last one I want to show you is what's happening today with Twitter. So if we get it up today and all the news, everything came out, you know, and all I'm going to do now is to bring up the little, you know, the thing we look at, smaller time frame, of course, but you'll see the patterns unfold. And today, all this market was doing was making a big ABCD pattern up there at that uh, 220 level. So I, uh, if you're looking for somebody that uh, worries about the news, 
uh, don't listen to me, folks, because I all I do is I just look at the darn things to see if the uh, thing's going to work. You know, that's pretty much all I look at. I really don't. The reason why there's twofold. I've seen it so many times. My fact is, my one of my biggest. I should share this because it's important. The biggest change that happened to me was in, during '74 and '75 when I lost all the money. I mean, I, I had some money left. You know, I had a house and cars and insurance and annuities, but I, my trading account went from seven figures down to minus twenty eight hundred. And for that eighteen months that I studied from well, late from October of '74 into uh, December of, uh, uh, must have been, uh, yeah, about September of 75, uh, I studied the Gartley book. Basically, that's what I did. I delved into it. I looked at everything that I did wrong and all the trades that I had done wrong. And I saw this beautiful pattern in the Gartley pattern in soybean oil. And I started buying oil and it, it went up. I've told you this story before. But the reason why that was so important, because... When I got to the top of the market in 1976, in June of 76, I had made a great deal of the money that I had lost back. And uh, I, I knew I had a big, I had 1,200 contracts across the board for everybody that was listening to me. And these are friends and relatives, uh, you know, from the commodity days. This was before I went to work for Drexel. Drexel came in August of 76. On that day, the report came out. And they said on the Reuters machine, remember, we didn't have these fancy computers and stuff. You had a Bunko Ramo board and Reuters. Reuters came out and said, the soybean report on Friday was so bullish that the only soybeans they're probably going to be able to find are in the Smithsonian. I wish I'd have kept that, but I didn't. The calls in the morning were up by the limit uh, two or three days at least. And uh, it was really crazy. And we had a squawk box, just like you see on CNBC. And the guy would say, you know, limit up on first three options of beans and all this stuff and oil and meal. And I started putting orders in. Uh, and I, my order was, if it opened unchanged, I was out of everything. And uh, I, it took a while to write all these orders up. And when I put them in... The first one's what I put in. The guy says, well, you're wasting your time on this one because this is never see this order. And I said, okay, just keep it in. Okay, I was very nervous because I was so bullish. And the calls started coming in. Well, we're going to be up the limit at least two or three days in the beans, you know, easy. And then about half hour before the opening. Well, there's, there's some trading going on in the FAR contracts out for 1977 and 1978. But all the near stuff is still lock limit. Fifteen minutes before... He said, well, the first three options are all limited up, but there's still a little selling going on. And five minutes before, well, the first two contracts are going to be up the limit, but there's selling in the third options and stuff like that. So <laughs> by the time the market came, I could hear the guy's voice. I wish I could have recorded it. The words that he said, I can't repeat here on CNBC, but it was, it was really, really dramatic. He's, oh, my God. Oh, my God. He said they're only slightly higher, and they opened uh, about a penny higher, and that's my stop was gone and immediately, and in 20 minutes, everything was limited down with the most bullish report they had ever seen in soybeans. I don't think that thing's ever been any different. So when I hear that news and stuff like that, it goes over my head. I, I you, First of all, you can't keep up with all of it, for crying out loud. One guy comes on, says he wants to be a buyer. Another guy comes on, wants to be a seller. I, I do A, B, C, D. I do one thing. I do it pretty good. You know, sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong, but I'm right more than I'm wrong, and that that's basically, you know, what I'm looking at. So I <laughs> I can't tell you any more than that. So I hope that helps. Uh, Shane will be on pretty soon. Uh, tomorrow or Friday, I'm going to try to get Adrian Tilgare as, uh, as my guest. Uh, Tim Boss is unavailable, as is Stan Harley. And so uh, we'll uh, we'll keep those. Norm Winsky we're going to have on Monday, but uh, we'll have some of these others here to look at. There was one other uh, thing that I wanted to uh, share with you. That, that euro is the most important. The Dow may or may not. See, the Dow's heading towards, uh, no matter what happens today, folks, we are going to 4060 in the S&P. That, that, that's a flat out. We got a month. Where, where's that? S, where, I've got that chart. Just a second. The SPX chart. Just a second. Where are you, SPX? Hold on just a minute. It'll show really clearly where we are with the SPX. Oh, dear. Oh, 
for it and I do with it. I didn't mark it right, I guess. Shut the front door and raise the rent. It's coming. Where are you? Well, maybe not coming in my lifetime. I will. F- ah, I found it. Sorry. Here it is. Here's the, where we're heading. This is uh, basically the equivalent of 40, 40, 60 in the S&P. Let's get this up here. You'll be able to see it right there. And uh, there's the ABC. That, that's 4070 in the S&P. This is the S&P cash. 877-927-6648. Stay tuned for the Shane Man. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we have the Shane Man Wolf Trader.com on the line. Shane, how are you doing? Good morning, Larry. How are you today? I am very good, my friend. Very good. And I want to. Uh, congratulate you for doing so well with your trading recently you know i work with uh, uh him with your broker uh, on some things and uh he actually he's very tough with uh what do you call accolades or uh, you know he i don't know if he told you or not but he was very impressed with the way you've been doing uh, with your trading so great tell us about this new service you got patreon what is that Okay, so uh patreon is just a it's a a service where you can go and get uh, up, updates. It's a very small service. So if you go to patreon.com forward slash wolf trader, uh, it's, a, it's a very, very small service that I have, but it gives you just some basic updates in terms of charts. And so it's a way to kind of dip your toe in the water. Uh, I, call it, I call it the baby wolf cub uh, membership. So if you guys are interested in the Patreon, you can head on over to patreon.com uh, forward slash wolf trader. So if you want to just kind of get in the mix a little bit, but you're not sure if you want to do a, a newsletter, that's that's a good way to go. 
Okay, great. Go ahead. Tell us what you're looking at today, my friend. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, I want to talk about this polar R squared version 14. So <clears throat> this is uh, what we use with the auto trade system, but it's also available for uh, for subscribers. So for like gold and platinum and S and P, uh, we have this available. So today's today's hashtag of the day is uh, trailing stops never sleep, and the reason <laughs> why this is the hashtag of the day is because uh, one of the advantages of automated systems is that uh, you can you don't have to sit there on it all day. That the trailing stops can be programmed, uh, and so this is why everything that I do with this is machine learning. Uh, so these stops are able to come in in the middle of the night while you're sleeping and make money. So in this latest version, uh, we we had some upgrades, but the big one is the trailing stop. And we also have lean hogs and coffee coming soon. So we're going to be adding those two. We took away cough, cotton and sugar. Uh, so we're going to replace those two. So if you're interested, uh, those are coming. Now, this is an actual screenshot of two trades. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of highlight this. And again, this is the theme of the day that trailing stops never sleep. Um, I was actually up last night. Uh, this trailing stop came in the middle of the night this these are two of them so this is the last two days on oil so we've had two consecutive days on oil that have been short okay so these are from the actual live account so this was uh, two days ago this was last night and i was actually up last night so larry i don't know if you know but i'm a big track and field fan i don't know if i've talked to you about this before but uh the way that these championships are going on right now they're they're actually going on in on the west coast in in eugene oregon so these uh the, the, the world championships started like 11.30 at night. So there was just some incredible track and field last night. I mean, Arian Knighton is this high school kid who ran 19.49. And Noah Lyles, this was the 200 semis. And uh, in the 1,500-meter, Jakob Britson from Norway got upset from Jake Whiteman from Great Britain. Um, and then in the 400 hurdles, uh, Alison Dos Santos from Brazil beats Rye Benjamin and Carson Warholm. So I don't know if that means anything to anybody out there, but to me, this is a big deal because I love track and field. I watch it, but I couldn't go to sleep. So this was like at 2.30 in the morning. And so I'm sitting there watching the, these charts. And so it was still like almost 3 o'clock. I was still awake. And boom, there goes the trailing stop on oil. This thing hits at like 2.55 in the morning. And it just kind of reminded me that, you know, this is very powerful when you don't have to be there tracking these things. And the trailing stops can move down automatically in an automated system so uh that that's the kind of the theme of the day it just really reinforced it because if i normally i wouldn't have been up at that time obviously but because i was it just it just made me think wow this is really powerful stuff that you don't have to sit there and just trail that down manually it can actually happen on its own so uh that's just kind of like a a, a introduction into you know what we're doing right now uh those you know those signals are available to to our subscribers too but the trailing stops obviously happen on the the machine learning side so that's that's in the live account so just wanted to share that with everybody i thought that was a pretty cool chart well that's something i do every night but not with track and field anyway keep going my friend tell us what else you're looking at <laughs> yeah i'm probably talking throwing these names out there and people are like what are you talking about you know but yeah, that, i have track and field is, i never heard of any of these dudes so <laughs> yeah Jak Jakob Inge Britson is uh he's very young I think he's like 20 or 21 from norway he won the the olympic gold medal in the 1500 and wow. he got upset by 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 a brit yesterday but the the yeah. one that you guys if you're not track and field watchers tune in on thursday night for the showdown between arian knighton and noah lyles these are the two americans and arian knighton's in high school and he already just to put this in perspective arian knighton at his age is already a half a second faster than usain bolt was at his age so tune in for that that's a 200 meter guy i, I don't think you'll be disappointed it, it starts late at night but it's on usa network if you guys want to see it anyway back to the markets here <laughs> i got I go off in the track and field, guys, because that's that's uh, my thing. But uh, S and P 500. So let's talk about the markets here. So I know a lot of people are are curious about the S and P. So let me let me kind of give you a little bit of a summary here. This is what I see with the S and P. Uh, the S and P is still in an it's in an expanding corrective pattern. Now it looked like it was over a couple days ago, but then it just kind of did a U turn and kind came back like Freddy Krueger. In those uh, uh -huh. horror movies from the 80s or Jason or whatever those horror like the, the, it's like never dead right like you think uh -huh. the, the murderer is dead and then it pops back to life 
So S&P pops back to life. Still in a corrective pattern, though. Uh, I'm still counting. This isn't a five-wave corrective pattern. It looks like it's some type of an expanding signal. Now, the thing that's interesting about this is that volatility is hitting major lows. So that tells me that when this thing turns, it's going to be really, really strong to the downside. We're still in a bear market, and so you're really playing with fire on this if you if you think that uh, these rallies are going to continue because until we make some type of a major low, uh, these, these rallies are likely to be retraced, and they get retraced really, really quickly. Uh, and the bear market rallies are designed to draw people in. So I would just say be really careful with this uh, because the, if it goes up this fast, it can come down this fast. And now that the volatility is kind of hitting these lows, I think it's starting to tick up a little bit with this, this recent couple of days. But be careful with that. Also, there's three geomagnetic storms coming. Uh, so for those of you who follow what we talk about with the geomagnetic storms, this was a study that was published by the Fed. And we follow this very closely. There's three of these coming in the next two days. So that is bearish for the S&P. So the S&P has been hanging around, hanging around, hanging around. But that's definitely coming up. Uh, the polar R squared, for those of you who are interested, we are, we are finally on pace for a sell today. We haven't had any sell signals in a few days. But that, you know, as of right now, it could change by the close. But as of right now, that's on pace for a sell today. And then next week, the, the news, of course, is the Fed meeting. There was an interesting statistic that I saw in a video last night that I posted for subscribers, which is that consumer savings accounts are still 75% higher than before COVID. In other words, there's still money there from stimulus that needs to be spent. And so this means that the inflation is likely to be persistent here uh, for a few more months, even if the market's going down. I know we're starting to see economic slowdown. But the fact that that money is still sitting in, in consumers' bank accounts, and this was the lower 25%, the real the, the spenders, there's still money in those accounts for people to spend. So to me, that's telling us that the Fed still has to battle this inflation. For Even if the market starts sinking at this point, there's still a lot there that the Fed has to battle. So keep in mind, they're likely going to continue down this path. Even if the market tanks, if that inflation doesn't come down, they, they have no choice. They have to keep the rates hiking. Can you stay with us, my friend? we got some more absolutely, time. Absolutely, absolutely. Shane Smolian, folks, wolftrader.com, expert in track and field. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A-shares hot or not? 
If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Here we're back, folks, speaking with Smolt. <laughs> Shane Smolian, wolftrader.com. Uh, Shane, I have a question on your uh, Patreon. Uh, how, how much is it per month for all that information? Oh, no. Don't tell me I'm lost contact. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Oh, dear. We've lost Shane. Hopefully, he'll be back with us in a second. But uh, that's a pretty big service he's asking, or that he's talking about. I don't know what the cost of it is, but hopefully, Shane will come on back on. Uh, moving on to these markets, we're still up very, uh, you know, sharply higher and stuff. The ABCD on this S&P does, on this is a daily, is 40 and 70. But remember, we had 60 and 70 point swings uh, in this thing, so it could easily move. Uh, that much I mean, because we were lower and then you know 200 points higher in the Dow so all of that stuff is telling you that these markets are extremely volatile and uh, we'll be have have a uh, chance to uh, get plenty of positions on now what I do in in fact is one of the things that I that I follow really closely hold on let me uh, double check this to make sure where I am because I have a you know a few a few things going on where my alerts go off that tells me that something uh, really interesting is happening. I have had several questions about the grain markets, folks, and th there's a perfect example of the fundamentals really, really strong. Uh, weather is uh, far from perfect, and, uh, you know, there's problems all across the globe with wheat and corn and soybeans and stuff and China wanting to buy. With all that news, they still go down. And that, that to me, folks, is yelling and screaming, hey, you gotta pay attention because they're more selling. There's more bu than buying. They're gonna drop. Doesn't make any difference what the news is. I just told you the story, and and there's story story after that. We've heard them all. You know, nothing's nothing's any different. They do the same thing all the time. There's nothing any different. So when you hear that news, look at the charts. Make sure the charts are telling you that it's going the right way. We know. Uh, uh, I'm getting a Skype message from. Um, uh, TFNN uh, that they're not answering the phone over there, Al. Could you double check to see uh, what is possibly happening there? Okay, we're going to double check that and see if we can get Shane in and not worry too much about uh, what's happening. Hopefully, he'll, he'll answer and we'll get it all done here uh, in just a minute. Today was a very uh, interesting day for me because I I went to bed at my usual time. Unfortunately, I overslept by two hours and I got up at quarter to six instead of quarter to four. And that two hour time frame, I mean, I just, I had some orders in that got filled and I was totally, you know, shocked that they did, but well, happy that they did. But uh, it really threw me off my game. So I'm uh, stalling here a little bit to get some more information out. But it doesn't happen very often. I've been taking this uh, new sleep medication called Fentrex. And my goodness, it really works. Uh, boy, I, I can do you, the uh, the dose is usually two pills, and they're herbs. That's all they are. You know, there's nothing there's nothing pharmaceutical in there at all, and uh, it's really amazing that it allows me to uh, sleep. So, well, we're not getting able to see Shane today, so I guess uh, I'll ask him to keep trying. Hold on just a second, and we'll see what's going on. I, I I'm not getting through either. I don't even know if I'm on the air or not. I ought to double check that. Hold on just a second here to see where we are here this morning, and uh, uh, t testing with TFNN and see. Uh, let me just get this in. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Can you folks in the den? Can you hear me? Okay. Am I on the air? 
Hello, operator. The chicken is in the pot. The eagle has landed. I don't even. I'm not even getting a response there. So I don't even think. Uh, I don't even think we're in. The, yeah, well, uh, there, there, there. Someone tells me I'm on. So that's good. Okay. Well, we can't get through to Shane. So I don't know what that problem is. But hopefully we'll get it straight. And uh, you know, keep trying, folks, because Shane keeps calling in, and he's not getting an answer at TFNN. So hopefully that uh, will happen uh, soon enough, and we'll see. You know what's going on uh, with that. So anyway. Let's keep an eye on the gold market, folks. We're trading at 1705. I believe we're going to go down one more time. And if it's not really a really big gully washer to the downside, you got a chance here for these things to move in the direction that they're going to have a uh, what we call a uh, position where it's going to go higher. In other words, if it doesn't wash out there, and there's no and the reason why, folks, the open interest is dropping in the gold at the same time prices are dropping. I've showed this before. I, I follow this every day with our good friend over there, in t down in Texas, down there in San Antonio. But this is—I posted this. This is nothing different. Now we see prices going down, open interest going down, and when that happens, the market is basically strengthening. So I'm waiting to see one more push to the downside. Our goal was, of course, the hundred dollars lower, but at sixteen ninety-five. I don't know what's uh, what's going on, but uh, Shane keeps calling TFNN with nobody answering the phone. I don't know what that means, but anyway, you can see here, but I follow this and all of these things. For a market to really get big to the upside, you're going to have to open interest. you got new players coming in, and then you'll be able to see this thing turn. But until that happens, that's not going to happen. So uh, 1705 is where we're trading now. The old low was 1692. That's $13 away. That tells me that's going to get taken out because it's been there for three or four days. So when that breaks, you want to see because that should be the break that takes it down, you know, quite a bit because it's it's got a chance to to really do that. Now thinking that way, uh, I don't know if you can hear me now, Shane, but no, not to worry, buddy. We'll have you on. To, we'll have you on on Thursday, and uh, but you'll see. Here's what I've been trying to do in the gold market, and I'll get this up here to see where we are here. There we go. And uh, there's where we are. So I was looking on this short term over the last several days. I was looking for the market to rally up to possibly 1725. It didn't get there. It only got to 1713. So you can't do anything. And now we're trading at 1705 and the market's going sideways. So that pattern is not lining up like I want it to. So that tells us, by golly, that we've got to be able to, uh, you know, get to a point where we're not going to. Uh, uh, you know, risk very much, and I'm not going to do that. It's, I'm not going to short at 17.12 or 13 when my pro, when my price objective is 17.25. That just means if the pattern doesn't work, I move on and do something else. Now, I I watch markets on the hourly, four four hour daily, and then I go down to 15 minutes. And when it gets really close to that, I'll go down to a five minute just to find. You know, a better pattern, just like I did with Twitter or with uh, Netflix today. I brought the Netflix up just to show you that these patterns work no matter what the news is. And that's the, you know, today, every, you know, there was everything's good with Netflix. You know, the, the things were bad, but they're not as bad as they thought they were. So that's bullish. Whatever. Anyway, I just looking at the numbers, folks. That's all I do. I've been doing that for a long time. People ask me questions about the fundamentals. Have no clue in any of the markets. I literally, I try not to even watch the news anymore because it's such it's such a wacko, you know. The way they promote promote these news stations is should be illegal. It is in Singapore and other places like that. I don't know if you know this or not, but if a, if a, if an announcer uh, pumps something that's fake news, they go to jail for two years over there. So they better be knowing what they're saying, otherwise uh, they're in big trouble. So that's the end of that. By the way, it's chewing, chewing gum is illegal in Singapore, as are uh, skateboards, and I believe uh, sugar, sugar, sugared sodas. 877-927-6648. Shane Smolian will be our guest tomorrow. We'll be right back with more words from our sponsor.
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks. Well, we're uh, I just noticed on the break here, we're unable to get Shane on the line, but we uh, are looking at new highs in the S&P, uh, not so much in the Dow Jones, uh, but the, but the Nasdaq is, of course, leading the trail as as is the the uh, Russell. You know, the Russell is is really a big one. So. That's another one that looks uh, real interesting. So pay attention to that one, too. Uh, we've still got uh, bonds heading down into the sewer. They uh, they have not uh, performed. Well, they're, they're, they should be on the short side, of course, because we talked about that several times, how bearish the, uh, the bond market actually is. And I believe I have a chart here uh, on that. Uh, I think this is it right here. Yeah, here it is. We'll get up here, take a quick look at it. These were the ones overnight that were... Uh, usually quite interesting so here is the uh, the pattern we were looking for you know you see we had a beautiful 61 percent retracement there it went a couple of pips above it and now you know we've broken well over a point so there's a market that's going down you got a nice retracement level to take a short stop above here you know so your risk is uh, you know two to one now you're you're up you're up well over a thousand dollars so you put your stop at uh, so you lock in at least eight hundred dollar profit and then let her rip because there's a chance that this could be a A, B, C, D to the downside. And that would make it a huge winner because we were short most all this way, you know, down in this area. We got out in this area right here, missed this last part. But now we sold it back on this first really good rally we had. This rally has taken a day and a half. So it's not a small rally. It's a pretty good rally. We went from 37 uh, to 2,000 points up, you know, two handles. And so 
that makes it very, very interesting. So see, now tomorrow, uh, uh, hopefully, if I can't get Adrian Tilgray today, I'll have Shane on tomorrow, trying to get him on, and then we'll we'll find out if uh, everything's going to okay, and see if that's going to work. Uh, so live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Try to do something good for your neighbors, folks, because there's a lot of people out there that are still hurting, you know. Thank you. See you tomorrow, folks. Bye-bye. 